all famous conflicts have an equally famous battlefield. Gettysburg, Guadalcanal, and in this case, the Tykerd Quarry. This is it. Tykerd Agriots. Do they have any idea what we're gonna do today? No. <laughs> No one doubts the existence of this medieval Korean arrow launcher, but many doubt its capabilities. We've surprised ourselves by proving these rocket arrows could fly 500 yards, then explode on impact. Whoa! Now, to see if they can all launch together to devastate Grant's grunts. Drafted. Drafted. It's a good thing you got a light infantry. Oh, how long you been saving that one? Not long enough. Now all 200 arrows need to be charged, and it's safety first. We're starting to build our rockets and attaching our explosive heads. But just like Zambelli's, we're separating our stations. So uh, if one of us goes up, we don't take all the rest out with us. Now, Tori and I will be adding the black powder and sealing up the warheads, and we'll pass these off to Carrie who will be putting the rockets in their final tubes and attaching them to the arrows. I've been making fireworks since I was a little kid, 30 years. I never had a problem. When the arrows are finished, the star of the show is coaxed from the trailer. Watch out! There you go. Yeah. That's right, great. Quick. Let's <laughs> roll it into position. <laughs> Tori sights the machine on level ground and he's covered all the angles. All right. And this is a 50 degree trajectory. All right, well, armor's gonna be right over there. All right, let's measure out 500 yards and set up your army. Grant's army is just 50 strong, staked out in a loose skirmish formation. When it comes to recruiting foam people, um, they're not that bright. So it's easy to convince them to, to stand out there in the field. You ready to load the watcher? Oh, I'm getting excited. I must say, I'm getting a little enthused myself. All 200 tubes are loaded. Something's gonna happen. And they know they'll only get one shot at this. Okay, so all the individual arrows are now fused, and the idea is that we group them together and just keep grouping them together, grouping them together, until in the end, we have one final fuse that we light and then run away. This is actually the coolest ancient weapon we've ever made. But will the Huacha live up to its reputation? Carrie's prepared to stake hers. I think it's going to take down the army. I'm guessing at least 50% go down. And that's got the infantry trembling in its boots. Grant sallies forth to light the master fuse. Quick, your army is attacking! Run, Grant! Run! then toddles back to safety. It's going. We got a little bit of time here. They know something's bound to happen, but will these arrows all take off together? Oh! Another 30 seconds. You can see multiple fuses going. Or will the Huacha just blow itself to pieces? Oh, look at all the smoke. The tension builds as the fuse burns down. No one knows just when or even if the last part of this myth will catch fire. Something's happening! Something's happening! They'll light each other. <laughs> it's the launch of a lifetime. A spectacle not seen by man nor beast in 500 years. And every arrow but one took flight. That was fantastic. I, just seeing all the rockets come out of the watch at once, beautiful thing. Seeing that would be terrifying, absolutely terrifying. Oh, hey, look. That's the one that went short. It's an awesome enough sight side on. Half a dozen arrows drop short, and the army's still upright. But this myth is far from busted. Well, the army's still standing. Yeah, and you know what? There's not a lot of arrows in this area. Where'd they go? I don't know. They're around here somewhere. 
they've all grouped right over here. Oh, wow, that's a great grouping, actually. That's incredible. Like, they were pretty consistent. Oh, they're definitely army over here. We only had 50 soldiers. Imagine if we had, like, 3,000, 30,000, 300,000. Carrie's right. The troops wouldn't be so few or so scattered. So this rocket attack would be devastating. All right, so watch out. Confirmed? Confirmed. They all left, and they exploded. Absolutely confirmed. All right. That was a good one, man. The watch out worked on many levels, but most of all, it was frightening. All of those arrows flying into the air on fire and exploding would definitely make me turn around and run. That was a success. I mean, we got all the arrows to fire off except for one, and they all went the distance, and they all exploded. OK, maybe we didn't take out the army. That's just because our aim was off. But if we had been aimed right, we would have killed this army. We knew it existed, but no one knew for sure what the Watcha was capable of. And now we do.